Hey, it's Miles here, milesbeckler.com. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of being consistent through your funnel. And we're gonna look at exactly what that means. So the idea here is being consistent through your funnel. And what this means is your user needs to have a very seamless and very consistent experience at every step of your funnel. And it's really in the fine details. It's kind of in the minutia where this all either works for you or works against you, right? And I've been testing this a lot. I've had a few different types of squeeze pages doing pretty well for me. And I've used a few different shopping cart systems to test different funnels over the last months and years. And one thing that I noticed maybe two or three weeks ago when I shifted my new funnel is I had a button color on my checkout page for my OTO that was a different color button from what was on my opt-in page. Now, you may have heard me say in a previous video that split testing your button colors is a waste of energy. You're not really gonna see a bump in going from a green button to an orange button per se, but I will put a little asterisk next to that and say that when your user is going through your funnel and something significant shifts in how they're approaching the next step of the funnel, such as your action color or your button color, then they have a subconscious moment of, wait a minute, glitch in the matrix. Something just, something's not right here. And they definitely are not thinking this logically. And as we've covered in other videos, it's not their logic brain that's making them purchase. It's the irrational side of them thinking you can help them solve a problem or the product will help them scratch an itch, if you will, right? And the moment they have this feeling that something's off, that something's not right on this checkout page, you lost them, they're gone. And so what I've done is I've now aligned through every step of my funnel that I've aligned my button colors and my conversion rates through to the end of my funnel have increased by a noteworthy amount, over 10% more second OTO conversions, right? And here's how it worked for me. It was really interesting. So when I, I'm on Thrive Cart, I use Thrive Themes also. Uh, so I'm on Thrive Cart and I just migrated over to Thrive Cart for an upsell. And on their upsell page, uh, it's still kind of new. They don't give me full control over colors. And I didn't have control over what color the button was, the yes, I want to take you on your upsell, the one click upsell after the OTO. I didn't have control over that color. It was a green button, but my previous two buttons were orange. And I was like, whoa, whoa why, is, why is this not converting as well now that I've moved to this new cart system? And I realized they go from an orange button to an orange button to a green button that is a moment that they're like, ah, something's not right here. Literally getting that in alignment with the other button colors played a huge part, right? And now that OT, the one click upsell after the OTO has gone up by about 10% in conversion rate, which is a total big bump for me down the line. So the user now, they go to my opt-in page, green button. They go to my OTO page, green button. They go to my checkout page, green button. They go to the one-time offer after the checkout page, green button. Every step of the way, it looks the same. Second way I've incorporated this into my funnels is using a specific image of my wife. We've got a headshot of my wife and it's kind of, um, she's isolated in a PNG, so there's no background and we got this kind of like neat little circle around her and it's a purple border and it's, it's a really nice branded image headshot of my wife. So we now use this all the way up on our Facebook fan page profile. So the fan page profile image is this headshot of my wife and that's what displays when they see my advertisement. Then when they click through the advertisement to go to the next page, they see my wife, they see her on the checkout page. It's got, that's actually my product color. So I've got the same picture of my wife at three steps during the checkout process. They see my wife, they see my wife again, they see my wife again. They feel like the same ladies walking them through the process of the checkout. They feel like they're in the right spot. Now, example number three in how I've been using this, and this is a little bit more difficult to run in conjunction when you're doing a bunch of split tests. It's totally possible, but it just takes a little bit more organization. And I'll try to touch on how that works here. Uh, since I'm not doing a screen share, it's not that easy to show, but I'll, I'll explain it. And what this is, is, so I always kind of base it, I find the one button or the one look or the one page that's like my overall theme for the entire funnel, right? 
And for me in this situation, it's my OTO page, my one-time offer, which is the page they see after they opt in. So this became my kind of like starting point. And on this page, I have a video of my wife and the video is a talking head video of her, right? So it's, it's kind of framed similar to this video you're watching right now. Uh, my wife's in the backyard in a place we were at in Sedona. So it's got kind of like this brown adobe wall behind her. It's got like a plum tree above her and she's wearing this, this purple outfit. So I took that video and that page and that was the kind of starting point for the whole thing for the whole funnel. So what I did is I took that video and she did wearing the exact same clothes in the exact same spot. She recorded the OTO video and I made the exact page look the same, right? So when they're on the OTO and they're on the one click upsell page, it looks identical. The video of my wife literally looks pretty much identical. She says obviously different things, but they feel like they're in the same place, right? So that was what I was going for. Then I clone this page as my opt-in page. And this is a test I'm currently running of my opt-in page that looks exactly like the OTO page versus my previous winner, which looks totally, totally different, right? So this is a split test I'm running. I didn't just go wipe out my past opt-in page that was converting at 45 or some odd percent, right? I didn't just go wipe it out on this, on this idea I had like, oh, it doesn't match. I need to make that match, right? I'm using science and data and statistics to tell me if my, my theory is correct and I'm testing that hypothesis. And so what I've done is I've set up the page to look exactly like the OTO page they see after they opt in. I even include what looks like a play button and the actual video itself with a play button in it they click that play button, it pops up the opt-in box and it says, great, let's give you that thing you're asking for, enter your email and you get it now. When they enter the email, they go to the OTO page that looks the exact same. To take it one step further, I took that same picture, I removed the play button because you can't have a play button on an image on Facebook, it's against their rules and ads and I'm now using that exact image in multiple different ads on Facebook. So I'm testing different headlines above that image. I'm actually testing variants of that image with little text bubbles in it saying different things. So here's the user experience. In case that felt abstract, and I apologize if it was, but let me show you the user experience. So they're on Facebook and they're scrolling through their timeline like we all do, oh, what's going on, what's going on? And they see a fan page, which is an image. It's a picture of my wife, a headshot of my wife and they see this picture of my wife sitting in the backyard in Sedona, and it maybe says free angel message. And the headline is, have you got your free angel message yet? If not, click this link. They click the link and the page loads. It's my opt-in page. This page has a headline up top that says, get your free angel message today. It's got a, the same exact picture, this time with the play button on it, so it looks like a video. And below, I've got a green button that says, get it now. Whether they click the green button or they click the image, the exact same thing happens. A pop-up pops up in the center of the screen and it says, great, I'd like to email you that free thing now. Just enter your email address and click the button. Guess what color that button is? It's green, of course. So they click that button, that takes them to the OTO page. The OTO page has it set to automatically play the video, but on iPhones, because Apple hates everyone and doesn't make things easy, on the iPhones it won't auto play. So I put a screen that shows a play button and it says click play now in case they load it on the iPhone and it doesn't auto play. So they've opted in, they've landed on this page, they see my wife again, and the video says, hey, I'm so excited you're here, I've got an offer for you, and the button below is for them to get a special offer on one of our best products a green button. When they click that, they see a headshot of my wife on the checkout page. They've got a green button on the checkout page. When they complete the checkout page, they go to my one click upsell page that looks exactly like the OTO page. It thanks them for making their purchase and it gives them one more offer. And again, it's my wife in the same setting and it's got a green button below or a no thanks link below that. And that is my expression of continuity through the funnel. The imagery, the headlines, the font, the layout of the page, the action color or the button color, the 
everything is as similar as it possibly can be and it all works with each other. So the moment they leave the Facebook ecosystem from clicking on an ad and they land on my website and they enter my funnel, every step from that point makes them feel like they're in the same place. The one I can't really control is the checkout page and, and we just, I don't know, I'm using Sam Cart and there's just so much that, you know, sometimes you gotta let go of control on certain things but every page where we're communicating directly with them and making offers, whether it's an offer in exchange for their email or an offer to buy a product, those pages look and feel the exact same. So as they go step by step by step through my funnel, they feel like they're in the right place. And that, my friend, is consistency through the funnel and that's something you need to be very, very conscious of. So as you go through building your funnels and as you go and add one click upsells or OTOs to your funnels, just be sure, take a moment to kind of look at the big picture, test your funnel, go through each step and feel, does it feel like something shifted? Because if there's a moment when they feel like they went from site A to site B and they're like, whoa, 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 what happened there? That's the moment you're gonna lose them. And if you can make every step of the process feel very similar, they're gonna stick with you and they're gonna make it further through your funnel that I promise, and again, even though I just made you a promise, don't go wipe out everything that you've been doing that's been working for you for this new idea, run scientific tests, and let the data confirm or deny what I'm telling you right now, but I'm confident that if you have a mishmash of colors and layouts and fonts, when you create continuity and create consistency in your funnel, you will see a bump and in increase in your conversions all the way down through your funnel. So thank you very much for your time. That's it. That is the idea of consistency through your funnel. It is very important as you get into it. It's kind of on the fine tuning, fine tweaking side of things, but if you're building your first funnel, just start with continuity in your funnel from the get go. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up here. It helps me get the reach out and that is my only goal here. No ads right now on the videos. I'm just asking for thumbs up to get the reach out. I do appreciate it. If you wanna share it, share it. Leave me a comment if you have questions, if you like the videos, or if you wanna show me your funnel. Love to check out what you're doing in the comments. That's where that goes. And if you have not subscribed, please do. I've got more new videos coming out for you. Got another great video for you tomorrow, actually, that I'm excited to share. And thank you again for your time. I'll see you on the next video.